open the door with the display on it and turn on the Q1 breaker. The display will now power up. Once the display is completely powered up and the home screen is displayed, press the wrench icon in the lower left corner of the screen. Next, select the operation button. On the next screen, select System Startup. This screen will guide you through the startup procedure. Some of the steps are automated and some you will have to perform manually. Notice that the first option to close breaker Q1 is grayed out as it has already been performed. The next step is to close the static switch input breaker Q5 in the maintenance bypass cabinet. You will notice that the H5 LED is lit, indicating it is safe to operate that breaker. Turn the Q5 breaker to the on position. Once Q5 is on, the next menu item will be available to select. This option is to close the battery breakers. In most cases, Selecting the button will automatically close the battery breakers. On the occasion that the breaker does not automatically close, you will need to manually close it. Press the Close Battery Breakers button. When the battery breakers have all been successfully closed, the next option will become available. Select the UPS ON button to turn the inverter on. Once the inverter is successfully turned on, you must transfer the load to static bypass. To do this, select the Initiate Transfer button. The UPS is now in static bypass. With the UPS in static bypass, it is now safe to take the load off of maintenance bypass. You will notice on the maintenance bypass cabinet that the H2 LED is lit, indicating that it is safe to close the Q2 breaker without risk to the load. Close the Q2 breaker. The H3 LED will illuminate once the Q2 breaker is closed, indicating that it is safe to operate the Q3 breaker, taking the UPS out of maintenance bypass without risk to the load. Open the Q3 breaker. The final step is to turn the output on from the startup menu. Once this is selected, the UPS will return to normal operation. 